Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we take 6 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x minus 3 all raised to power 6 minus 6 raised to power 6, then equals to 0 from here. Then, next step here, we can write this as x minus 3 or raised to power 3. Then all raised to power 2. When 2 times 3 years to give us 6, then minus. Same thing here, we have 6 raised to power 3. Then all raised to power 2, which is equal to 0 from here. That is, this follows the difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets a minus b. That is, here a is standing as x minus 3 or raised to power 3 and b standing as 6 raised to power 3 which implies what we have here all of this and becomes x minus 3 or raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 into brackets then also open brackets x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 here. The next step here we have two possible cases. The first one x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 or raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. And solving from the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square. That is here follows what we have. And becomes x minus 3 plus 6 into brackets then open brackets x minus 3 all squared minus 6 times x minus 3 then plus 6 squared close brackets then equals to 0 here that is here this becomes x plus 3 into brackets then open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus 6x plus 9 the minus 6 open bracket here we have minus 6x plus 18 then plus 6 square that's 36 close brackets then equals to 0 here which implies we have x plus 3 into brackets then open brackets here we have x squared minus 6x minus 6x that's minus 12x then we have 36 plus 18 this gives us 4 then 554 54 plus 9 we have 63 there yeah, that's plus 63 close bracket then equals to zero here that is next step here also we have two possible cases x plus 3 equals to zero or we have x squared minus 12x plus 63 equals to zero here that is Solving on this side, here we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 12, and c equals to 63. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 12 plus or minus square root of 
minus 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times 63. Then all over 2 times 1. Which implies we have x equals to minus times minus, that's plus, that's 12. Then plus or minus square root of minus 12 square, that's 144. Then minus 4 times 1 times 63 equals 252. Then all over 2 here. Which implies we have x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 2. 52 give us minus 1 or hit then all over 2. That is from here. We can write this as x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 36 times 3 times minus 1. We give us minus 1 with then all over 2. And we separate this. Root 36, that's 6. We take it out and we have x equals to 12 plus or minus 6. Then we have root 3. Then root minus 1, that's i over 2. And also here, 2 is common here. We have x equals to 2 into brackets. 6 plus or minus 3, root 3 high left inside. Then all over 2. That is here, 2 cancelled each other. And this here becomes x equals to 6 plus or minus 3 root 3i. That is, we have two complex solutions from here. Then, solving from the second case here, also this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a minus b into brackets. Then open bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared. That is, yeah, this follows this and becomes x minus 3 minus 6 into bracket. Then also open bracket x minus 3 all squared plus 6 times x minus 3 plus 6 squared. Close bracket, then equals to zero here. That is here, we have x minus nine into brackets. The open bracket expansion here gives us x square minus six x plus nine. Then six open raised bracket, we have plus six x minus eighteen. Then plus six square thirty six. Close brackets and equals to zero here. Then we can write this as x minus nine into brackets and open brackets x squared minus six x plus six x comes to each other. And here we have thirty six minus eighteen. That's eighteen. Then eighteen plus nine that gives us twenty seven. So we have x squared plus 27 left, then equals to 0 here. Also here, we have two possible cases, x minus 9 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 27 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 9, which is also a real solution here. Then, yeah, we can take 27 to the other side, we call minus. That's x squared equals to minus 27. And we take the square root on both sides. Yeah, we have square root of x squared equals to square root of minus 27. Yeah, square cancel square root. We have x now equals to plus or minus root 27 times minus 1. And of course, when we separate this, we can write this 27 as x equals to plus or minus root 9 times 3 times minus 1. And root 9, that's 3. We bring it out and we have x equals to 
plus or minus 3 root 3, then root minus 1, that's i. From here, also we have two complex solutions from here. And therefore, all together, we have six solutions in this given problem. That is two three solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.